underway at the Sanchez Peace One. It is the second. Get a chance to seconds in. Ball swooped into the six yard box and Sergio Ramos rising to meet it. So it'll be blasted. Oh. Rebound by Escudero. He's out to touch the head referee here is Undiano Mayenko, and he's given this as a throw in for Real Madrid. Oh, what a great Near start this is. Today. Yeah, the left back here strikes it with so much pace. It is central. If that had been 21 of either side of the goalpost, I think it would have been gone. Kind of a combination here from the Andalusian club. Correa goes for goal, and it's Casilla who parries it wide. Chased down by Iborra. Corner kick given. Excellent ball into the middle from Long Lays. Known for his up passing the young Frenchman. In Correa. Sarabia's cross into the danger zone. It's made its way through. It looks to be an own goal on Danilo. And Sevilla have one back. It's Sevilla 1, Real Madrid 0. 3 1 on the aggregate. That's a sensational ball out wide. Pablo Sarabia is the one who whips it and he sees his target at the far post. And it was Ibora, and Danilo just had to get in the way. It was the only Real Madrid defender in front of Ibora, and it all goes so terribly wrong. It's a diving header into his own net. Well, when you take a look at the second replay, it's difficult to think or try to figure out what Danilo's trying to do here just because of his body positioning. Just looks like a brilliant diving head. And Real Madrid benefited and okay, allowed to continue here. Asensio finds the keeper oh. off his line. It's parried by Soria. He does have range. The young Real Madrid midfielder Marco Asensio. And nearly from a standstill position. How well does Asensio strike this ball? That was going. Well, first touch from Mariano, but he's just getting away. Soria has to come off his line. Oh. And so nearly a circus goal for Mariano. <laughs> Have to applaud though the aggressive nature of Mariano continuing on the play right here. Puts in a real shift to try to get there before Soria. And I wasn't that far off from being in and in one of the most bizarre goals that clanks off his shit in the end. Vasquez has space. Chip forward the offside flag against Mariano. He is offside. It's so fun to watch Real Madrid when they. Just another look final. at the offside decision yeah. is that Mariano goes a little early. No question. Neat finish at the end though from Iborra. Ben Yedder has help on the way. Ben Yedder takes it himself. Casilla. Over finally to the first team after scoring 27 goals in the third. Correa is just drawn. He's played it quickly. Shano oh. Vieto. And he's allowed it on Diano Mayenko. Ben Yedder! It's three fine saves from Kiko Casilla. Why rush that ball? That gets it wide to Vieto. Ben Yedder. Near cross for Correa. Nacho adjusting well to clear it. Pressure from Kranevider. Defensive header from Nacho. Escudero. Where he's only a bit better in terms of going at goal. Mariano looking for an opening against Longley. He's blasted over the top by Tony Cross. Still have to appreciate that from Mariano. He knew that the angle wasn't one that was really going to. A decent attempt on goal, so he pulls it. Tony Cross. Cross measuring up, lead off by Moriano. Cross! And Tony Cross did not miss by much. Left footed effort just wide of the right post. And I probably would have wanted that on his other foot, to be honest, but that was a great touch from Mariano again. Mariano's really done well linking up with his midfielders. That's just falling more and more off the radar in recent months. Under two managers, he couldn't get any time. That'll do it for the opening half. Sevilla have pulled one back on the aggregate, but still trail three to one overall. It's Sevilla one, Real Madrid nil at the break. Stay with us. A look back at the very best from the opening half after this. The whistle from the man with the cards in the whistle today. The final plea from Casemiro. Tencio. Marcelo inside the 18. Crossed across the grain. It could fall for Mariano. He's blasted it over. Absolutely just tried uh, driving this ball through. But in the end he cuts through it. 
bounces out to him pretty well, and he just catches it on the hop and unable to keep it down. Punched away by Kiko Casilla, and Asensio starts to counter. Skips his way past Kranivitar. It's Asensio out in front of his marker. Luciano Vieto sprinting back. Asensio oh. from behind. Asensio! And he's fouled the back of the net. 48 minutes in. That could be the goal that kills off Sevilla. It's Sevilla 1, Real Madrid 1. Absolutely world class here from Marco Asensio. Goes the length of the pitch on his own. But look at this touch right here. The defender commits. It's Kranevitar thinking that he was going to snuff out the run of Asensio. Have to credit Vieto for running the length of the pitch to catch up with Asensio. But in the end, a little bit of a pull down wasn't enough to bring down the Spaniard. And the finish is sublime in the end. Pace, creativity, the strength to hold off the challenge. He could have gone down there. A lot of players on just would have gone down from that con. In generating chances with the, the initial game plan. Escudero. Delivered to the heart of the oh. 18. And Sevilla back in front for the match. Tight finish for the debutante. It's Jovetic. Sevilla 2, Madrid 1. All of a sudden, game on. Ball's coming from the back. Adil Rami doing well to spot the open man out wide on the left. And, and that diagonal run from Jovetic is unmarked. As uh, it was Ben Yedder taking up the attention of two Real Madrid defenders. That allowed Jovetic to go unmarked at the far post. Escudero with a wonderful cross. And then a first time side footed volley from Jovetic. It would really be dangerous on the counter-attack as well. Long throw in is a recent intended target. A chance here, and it's Kiko Casilla with another fine save to deny Jovetic. From Kovacic, but Jovetic here really struck it wonderfully well. Outside of the boot, first time, it is central, but that been angled just a little bit, I think he would have beaten Casilla easily. Jovetic. Sarabia's cross, Ben Yedder. Something yet. Lansing headed is just off the mark. Sarabia has been delivering pearls all day, whether it's from the right or the left flank. His crossing ability today has been so pinpoint. How? Santi Solari and Raul on the score sheet. More on that in a moment. Here's Danilo. The cross to Alvaro Morata from inside the oh. 18. And for placement rather than power. And just let himself down the way he settled it. Andres left the ball a bit behind him. Across. Sarabia deals with it. Tony Cross kept it down this time, oh. parried wide by Soria. And that's more like the Tony Cross chances we normally see. Yep, finally gets it on that right foot, going purely for power. That's exactly the kind of goals he usually scores. Hits it on the volley. It's a good save from Sancio. So many times when he's being pressured, he seems so cool on the ball. Here's Danilo, squeezes it through. It's an important touch from Adil Rami. Nearly. Alvaro Murata was loose inside the six. And one he had to make, Andres, but nearly an own goal. So we would have seen own goals from both sides. Look at how close this was from Adil Rami, who I knew he had to get a boot in the way, but really puts it into that near post. Goalkeeper was central, would have been beaten. Nazri fires, blocked by Carvajal. Nacho actually goes to ground, a chance from distance. Into the post is it? Escudero had to go from a long way out. Another one of Sevilla's better performers, Escudero. Even though it is a back four, he doesn't care about the added defensive responsibility. Nothing to lose. Perhaps it did not happen. We'll get a second look. This has been Yetter. Iborra. Another save by Casillas. Sarabia denied by Marcelo. Great spell of possession there. Patience shown from Vitolo. Sarabia. Vitolo. Wide for Samir Nasri. Has Ben Yedder alongside. Kick toward Ben Yedder as Jan's side. Ball in inside the 60. Bora puts it back in. The flag stays down. Sevilla 3, Real Madrid 1. And Sevilla believe once again. Nasri, the patience here. Everyone thought Nasri right the second was going to just cut it back inside. Instead, he sees Ben Yedder onside. He's being kept on. 
by Nacho is the last defender for Real Madrid. That is a great disguise by Nasri. Going with the pass that no one expected to set up the goal. And then at the near post, Ibotto has been getting forward so often, using that big physique to muscle away. Back toward Cosimito. Casemiro has options, a bump from behind, Lugiano Mayenko spots it, and it's a penalty for Real Madrid. Madrid's defensive midfielder causing some attacking havoc, and he's drawn the penalty, and a chance for Real Madrid to seal it. Well, Casemiro. Take a look at the replay, a lot of confusion. It didn't seem in lifetime like there was enough contact. Was there? Oh, yeah, the push-up. You see the arm extended there from Kranavita as he's pushing off right there. It's that motion, the push-off. It's very slight. I think Casemiro It's Sergio still. Ramos who is going to take this penalty. Casemiro goes down a bit too easy. Player who's on the pitch because Zidane says he wants Casemiro to start learning and uh, becoming match fit to play two games a week again. A long injury layoff, and now he's back. He's had a solid game and draws the penalty, which would put it out of reach. Sergio Ramos. So many times the hero for Real Madrid. From 12 paces out, it's Ramos, oh. and he's chipped it. <laughs> Soria fooled. Real Madrid, two, and they're surely now going through to the quarterfinals. Six goals in all competitions for Sergio Ramos, and it's the first that's not with his head. It's well, with the, his brain. The confidence exuded by Ramos. It's been on the end of goals that have won Real Madrid, the most important trophies. And of course, he'd go with the most confident and audacious of penalties, the Panenka to embarrass Soria. Right there, a little stutter step. He sees Soria cheating to his right. And then Ramos dispatches it in a way that only the most talented. Nasri's delivery. On target, carried oh. away by Casilla. It was Jovetic again creating the danger. On the ground, Antonio's Vicente Ibora. And a free kick for Real Madrid. Probably the best save there from Casilla. Reflexes so quick to get to that ball. Even if it was at the near post, he had to shift over as he was in a central position. Look right there. That is, that's the best save. Taken quickly for Sarabia. Delivered back post and off the post while still in play. Sarabia goes for goal, nearly finds a top corner. And time ticking off on Sevilla's Copa del Rey campaign. And the ball from Sarabia causing all sorts of havoc. It was the young Frenchman Longley. Benzema making his way forward. Benzema trying to slalom his way through. Oh. It's an equalizer for Real Madrid in the 93rd minute. It's Karim Benzema, and it may well be 40 in a row without defeat. They do it time and time again. Well, oh, 40 in a row without defeat, historic. And the build-up, more than the goal itself, is what leaves everyone absolutely mind-boggled. Look at this, two consecutive back heels set up Benzema, and then he goes on this whirling solo effort. The deflection helps Benzema as it puts it at the near post. But the back heel from Benzema, the back heel from Marcelo, absolutely tremendous, the build-up. And then a little bit of Lady Luck going Real Madrid's way. They've gone so long for this record in Spanish football. <laughs> and that's what they were playing for at this point, as you'd imagine. It's a stretch that began in April of 2016.